Adolescence is an extremely formative period of life with many physical, psychological and social changes of both body and brain. The majority of the brain changes takes place from the onset of puberty until the mid-twenties. But not everything is changing. Neither brain volume nor number of nerve cells, neurons, change much in the period. But what is then going on? Brain scans have shown that the relation between grey and white matter changes. White matter volume increases, whereas grey matter volume decreases. The grey matter consists of nerve cells, neurons. And the white matter consists of myelin that insulates the neurons. Throughout adolescence, the amount of myelin increases. This increased myelinization makes the electric signals run faster and more efficient. The transmission of the signals takes place in the synapses. Throughout adolescence, the number of synapses is reduced. Frequently used synapses are conserved and strengthened, whereas those that are rarely or not used are removed. The brain becomes more specialized and sharp, but only within the areas that are practiced. It's the window of opportunities, use it or lose it. The changes mainly take place in three brain areas, prefrontal cortex, center for logic thinking and planning, limbic system, especially amygdala and hypothalamus, regulation of feelings and hormones, and corpus callosum, the connection between the two brain halves. The behavior of adolescents can sometimes seem annoying and strange, but it's mostly just a reflection of a normal and important process where the brain adapts to the adult life.